my tips. To boot the Raspberry Pis from the network, the first thing that I want to do is I want to set up the NAS so that I can have all the file structure necessary to serve the boot files. And I also want to set up the iSCSI for the drives because for this series, I'm going to use iSCSI for the file system instead of NFS, which I did before on a previous release of the Raspberry Pi Pixie server. So this time it's going to be iSCSI. The difference between NFS and iSCSI is that the NFS shares files over the network, so a whole file, while the iSCSI serves blocks of storage. So to the Raspberry Pis, it's going to look like a disk that is accessed through the network versus files being accessed over the network. So I want to change that to make it more native for the Raspberry Pi to work. So the first thing is I have this NAS here where I have a storage pool that I'm using for the net booting up for the CCTV footage. So I have about four terabytes of space and my calculation is that I'm gonna have 12 Raspberry Pis and each Raspberry Pi is gonna have the equivalent of a 64 gigabyte SD card. So that's going to be about 770 gigabytes of space. So I have plenty of space here to hold that. So the first thing is I need to have a volume. I already have that volume, so we're good there. The first thing that I want to do is go into the control panel and shared folders. And here I want to create a new shared folder that is going to be the Pixie folder that I'm going to be using for the boot files. I'm going to re uh, name that Pixie and I'm going to describe it to be the boot files for the Pixie server. We're going to use the volume that we have created that has those four terabytes and I'm going to disable Recycle Bing. I really don't need that. You could hide it from my network places if you want so that it doesn't show up. But in my case, uh, I'm fine with that. So I'll just leave it like that and go next and next and next and next and that'll create that folder and then we just give it permissions so for this i'm going to give the raspberry pi user read and write my user read and write and then the others no access at all so for me that's more than enough that's what i need so apply that and now we have the pixie folder here that we can use for that so we're good that's the first thing that we want to do and then the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to be um, setting up the LUNs for the iSCSI. So you need to go into the SAN manager. So that's in, I believe that should be enabled by default. So you open the SAN manager. And in this case, I don't have anything right now. We can go here on the LUNs and then we can create a LUN. And then I'm going to create one LUN per Pi. So let's name this one, for example, Pi1. And this is gonna be disk for pi one. We're gonna select that volume and we're gonna say it's gonna be 64 gigabytes. And I want it thick provisioned. So we're reserving all of that space immediately. So we don't we make sure that that space is separated for that. It's it's it doesn't get compromised by any other thing running in the NAS. So then I go and click next. And then in here, uh, it's going to be iSCSI and it's going to be Synology iSCSI target. And then we click next. And then in this part here, we're going to select, co select custom. And then we're going to add, originally you're not going to see any host. I already did this when I was testing it before recording the video. So you would go and add a new host and then put the name of that host and the description and then specify the operating system in this case linux for the raspberry pis and you also add an initiator and uh, the initiator you you give it the same name as the lon that you created which is in my case pi1 for example and then that ends up giving you something like this and then once you have that here then you can give it the read and write permissions that are necessary to this host, in this case, Pi1 for that specific loan that we're creating. And then we can go next and here we see the details. 
it's going to be named pi1. The description is this for pi1. It's going to be using that volume, 64 gigabits, stick provisioned. And uh, it's going to be ice cosy and the permissions are going to be for the pi1 host. And we say done. And that creates for us a LUN here that we have as a disk that we can share over the network. And we have to basically do this for each Raspberry Pi that we're going to boot from the network. So uh, in my case, I have 12 Pis. So I'm going to have to repeat this process 12 times. So create Pi2. Disk for Pi2. 64. Tick provision. I synology I scusy. Custom new host by two. This is going to be Linux initiator by two. And okay, so now I select by two for this. Say read write. The other has no access. So always each LUN can only be accessed by one host. So you always make sure of that and go next and we validate and we click done. So now we have a second uh, virtual disk that we're going to share over the network. So let me continue doing that and we'll be back when I'm done because I don't want to see you watch paint dry. And just like that we have 12 LUNs for the 12 disks that are going to be used by the 12 Raspberry Pis that I have in my lab. So this part is good. Everything's looking well. Everything has 64 gigs. Each one is tied to a specific Raspberry Pi. So only one Pi has access to it. That's looking good. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to go into the iSCSI here. And if you don't have one, then you need to create it. But it, it should be have been created by default when you created the LUN. And then in here, I want to edit and I want to go to advanced and make sure that allow multiple sessions from one or more iSCSI initiators is selected. So I'm going to make sure that that is selected. And we save this. So now if we validate, it's checked. So everything is good. And that's basically all that we needed for the iSCSI to be accessible and the LUNs to exist within our NAS. So it's already been, the space for all this has already been used. So if you see now we're using more capacity than when we started. So we're good. We have our drives for the, the pies.